So D, we get asked all the time how to hit over the water with confidence. So we've got the best spot it's here. Beautiful here. It's, it's beautiful. It's the seventeenth uh, at Kawinda Waters, isn't it? In uh, Sydney. Yeah, North it's only a short hole. It's only about ninety. Ninety metres, but like it's that. terrifying, isn't it, for the average golfer to, to have nowhere really to go other than to go for the pin. So, yeah. what's our mindset when we're trying to play a scary shot like this um, and hit it over a hazard? I think the important thing is once you know that it's it's actually only probably 85 metres to carry and most people know they can carry at 85 yep, metres, yep. you take your favourite club and it is just a mindset. If you can forget that it's water and just do get your favourite little club and just do it nice and smooth but accelerating yep, yep. and just convince yourself. If you know you can't carry at 85 metres, you could always just chip yep, it down yep. here. If you can't carry it, go on. that way. Do be careful not to take too much. A lot of people, I think, make the mistake of going, oh, I'm going to just get my driver out because I know I can get over with that. But then, of course, they're going to go over the back and exactly. there's actually water over the back yeah. here so when you say take your favorite club within reason right within reason. yeah like what I always do on this um, I know that it's probably a, a less than a sand wedge for me yeah but sometimes I'll just take my uh, my tar tall wedge my target wedge yeah yeah um, and, and just go do a three nice quarter smooth yeah three yeah, quarter yeah. Run, so I'm not but it's mindset yeah visualizing where I want it to go yeah. so all I can do is Get my facts, see what I want, have the practice swing, and commit. And let go and commit. Commit. And, commit. and I think another key too is not be tempted to try and Pop lift it up. it up over the water yeah, because exactly. that's our instinct. But that is the absolute word. And that's why people can't get over water because they're physically trying to lift the ball up and over the water instead 100%. of coming through, letting the nice club lift yep. the ball, hit exactly. down through the bottom of the ball. Keep the club, the club will do it for you yep. if you simple. let it. Pick the club you want. Commit. Commit. Be decisive. Yeah, yeah. Especially, I think the mindset is go through your routine. Go through your routine. So As like, if it's any other shot, right? Treat yeah, it like any, any other, other shot. shot. I, I am seeing what I want, so I'm, I know I know I've got the right club. I'm seeing what I'm wanting. I know I'm, I'm not going to do a flat out swing. I'm just doing something nice and smooth. Yeah. So I've seen it. I've lined it up. I see where it's landing. I take my posture. I have one last look. From the one last look, I just swing back, swing through. That's a beautiful shot, Dee. Thanks, Annie. Oh yeah, that's that's oh, it's a little bit yes. up the back, but it's comfortably you over. I'm excited though all the yeah. time. I think so. Yeah, all lovely I did shot. Was see it. Yep. Go. Yeah. Nothing was in here like, oh my god, I hope I don't go in the water. And an extra little trick that can help you if you do tend to try and lift it up is to imagine that your club is going to brush the grass after the ball. So quite often we try and help the ball up and the yep. club comes up too quickly. So ball then turf, when you've got to go over an obstacle can be quite a good little mental trick. Ball I'm then gonna, turf. I'm going to say something else that a lot of people will disagree with. But that's fine, it's good to be controversial. I always think, depending where you're at also, if you're feeling uncomfortable and you may only have two, uh, a couple of golf balls left, you don't want to lose your best golf ball. <laughs> I see nothing wrong, quite seriously, of taking your older golf ball because you feel more relaxed and you generally hit it really well. If it's yeah. your best golf ball, you're yeah. like, oh my God, I don't want to lose my golf ball. I, I know what you're saying because I always say to people, no, 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 don't <laughs> change out, it's negative. But, yeah. but what you're saying is true, if it's going to make you feel more relaxed. Whatever makes you feel more relaxed. Yeah, then glass uh, of champagne before you turn up, whatever. <laughs> that's exactly right. Get over the water. That's right. Remember, but try it's and, in here. Yeah, it's in here. Try and treat it like any other shot. Yep. Don't try and lift it over the water. Try and play it like a normal and shot. just have a look. How beautiful is this view? Yeah. How en beautiful. Enjoy You've the surroundings. It. All right, thanks Until next time. Bye. Do you lose your temper or get really nervous when you play golf and it costs you shots? Do you find you practice well but you can't take it onto the course? Do you start off the round well but you can't finish off a good round? Do you often wonder how the pros stay so cool and calm? Would you like to permanently lower your scores and enjoy the game more? I'm LPGA golf professional Anne Rollo, winner of 22 tournaments worldwide and I held the record for the lowest ever round of golf on the European Tour, a 63, nine under par in the Italian Open. I show you the secrets of the pros and how they stay so calm and how they manage to keep the nerves at bay. In my new four week course, we cover attitude and how to adjust yours quickly and easily. We talk about visualization and mental rehearsal and how to pre-rehearse your shot before you even play it. I'll also show you how to get into the zone like the pros do. It's much quicker and easier than you think. So grab the four week course, you can do it over the four weeks or you can do it all in one sitting, it's entirely up to you. Whichever way you do it, it's going to completely transform your game, money back guarantee.
Hi, my name's Denise Hutton, and I just wanted to let you know that one of the reasons I believe I won in tour uh, many years ago was because I had a psychology degree and I was using lots of mind tools to help me get there. In those days, not many people used the power of the mind to have success. Tools that Annie is giving you in these, these videos will certainly help you improve your game. I thoroughly recommend them.